This episode is brought to you by Baby Ethereus. You may have heard of Ethereus, the Ethereum mining income token, but Baby Ethereus is a hyper deflationary token on the BSC chain that provides great opportunities and rewards for Ethereus token holders. Baby Ethereus has gone from $300,000 market cap to over 5.7 million in one hour. Stake Baby Ethereus and get raffle tickets that enter you to win a 2022 Tesla Model 3. Visit babyaeth.com for more information. Link in the description description below this my two satoshis this my two satoshis who need two cents when they can get double from stacking toshis yeah welcome to my two satoshis with default coming to you once again with a market analysis video um this week you know i'm going to go over btc ethereum smp gold and silver and the dollar kicking it off with btc recapping what i was saying last week i was pointing out that going to the daily time frame that we were, you know, we had this symmetric triangle, which had me more optimistic that we would see higher prices. We actually broke out of it bullishly, um, consolidated, and then actually broke down bearishly. Um, at the time I recorded the video, we were actually testing the bottom trend line of that pattern as resistance. And, you know, I was stating that we are likely to see more bearish prices, or the price losing more value, and we're pricing on the 40K, which all happened, you know, last week. You know, since then, really all we have done is gone sideways. And we're actually right now, um, something I forgot to do, um, but I'm gonna point out now is how we broke a critical um, support around 40,600. This area, as you could see, you can see in the past, this area has been used as support and resistant, support and resistant multiple times. Anytime prices got above it, you know, we have accelerated to the upside. Anytime prices broke below, we have gone lower. But right now you have broke that support and you have just been testing it for the last uh, about six days. So it's been about a week of you just testing to stay above that area and you you see that we're currently rejecting it and that's incredible incredibly uh bearish so you know looking at the smaller time frames right now you can see we've just been consolidating at this critical this resistance and we're just forming what's just, what seems to be you know another another bear flag and we're actually at this trend line right now again that's not bullish at all and so we could be seeing you know while i'm recording this you can be seeing a lot more downside to the BTC price. And it kind of is looking like also a head and shoulders, it's like a head and shoulders pattern. And you got your shoulder, you got your head, and then you got your right shoulder. But you know, none of this price action as of this recording right now is looking bullish. Um, so in order to get bullish, you really have to get above um, 40,600 and close above it and, you know, start making you know, higher highs, you know, higher lows. I don't see anything on any time scale right now, other than maybe the daily. There's just really not much um, on your indicators that are, are indicating that we will be seeing higher prices. We actually have right now, we're forming again, once again, we're making a lower high in the four hour and we're getting higher amounts of positive momentum. So you have you know, you're high here and you have another high here. And once again, you're developing, hitting bearish divergence, which indicates, you know, we'll probably see more lower prices on BTC. And not much has changed for my analysis from last week. So I'm expecting to see, you know, uh, probably lower prices. What I'm also seeing, going back to the daily, actually go to the Coinbase chart with this, uh, what seems to be a bear flag. If you, close your daily below 37,790. You'll be confirming um, a lower low. Uh, with that lower low, um, you do on the daily have potential hidden bullish divergence, but breaking that um, low, that last low will invalidate that, you know, potential hidden bullish divergence. I believe you actually have it on the MACD and RSI at the moment, but I mean, you got to start pivoting and start, you know, making higher prices. And the fact that you are below 40,600, you know, rejecting that area right now, and you're starting to sell it to the downside, 
um, I'm expecting, you know, this last low to actually break this last low and probably we'll be seeing this trend line again around 37,000. But, you know, that's mostly what I'm seeing with UTC. Just look at the weekly real quick. No, not positive <laughs> price action in the weekly. Just looks, you know, it looks terrible at, as of now. Maybe you pivot, maybe you get bullish divergence on the four hour and then pivot and you, you still have that hidden bullish divergence on the daily. But right now there's just... There's just no advantage to the upside, and I'm expecting more bearish uh, action and the price action. Um, and the same thing goes with Ethereum. As of now, going to the daily time scale, you have that symmetric triangle, just like BTC. Unlike BTC, you're still using that symmetric triangle, um, still trying to, you know, pivot and run to higher prices, but not going to matter much. Um, if Bitcoin is rolling over, it's just similar price action right now as BTC. When I was looking at it last week, you know, I was stating how we were just bearishly, like at a bear flag and, and I thought we would see lower prices. And, you know, that played out and it's pretty much the same analysis right now. Going sideways, bear flagging, not much as a, of a structure as BTC, but, um, you know, you break this bottom trend line around 33,000, uh, like 15, and you're going to be, you know, invalidating this, this symmetric triangle and you're going to see lower prices. I mean, the next real support for Ethereum, it's, uh, yeah, it's around like $2,900. And so you don't want to be breaking, you know, this much triangle, but odds are just looking at the price action, you're going to be seeing lower prices. Ethereum is going to follow, you know, BTC. Um, once again, there's no major advantage. You still, you know, on a daily, you have uh, potentially hidden bullish divergence on your MACD. Doesn't look bullish at all. It just looks like we're going to be seeing lower prices. And twenty nine hundred dollars is probably the next area where we will be seeing next. It probably will be happening um, within a, you know, sometime this week, if not, you know, tomorrow. But that's what it, what I'm just seeing right now in the cryptocurrency market, which are major um, cryptocurrencies. I mean, if these are rolling over and showing bearish and price action, you might have a few anomalies, um, but majority, you know, 90, 99% of your cryptocurrencies will be losing tremendous value, even more value than Ethereum or BTC. So that's just what I'm seeing right now. Cryptocurrency market, it's not looking bullish at all. It's very hard to make the argument to, that it will see higher. Um, going to the S&P right now. Um, last week, I was pointing out that we're kind of just consolidating on the lower time frames. Um, you're still consolidating. Um, you're at that area that I said we were probably would test the support. Right now, it's you know the market's not open. We'll see you know this week if, if this is going to hold support. If it doesn't, we're coming back to the March lows, and you really don't want to be testing these March lows because um, if you're testing it, it's you could and you test it and you break it, and you're confirming that you made you're making a you know a lower high on S and P on you know significant time frames and you're will just be starting what it seems to me like a bear trend I'm looking at the weekly you know you have that bearish divergence it's still i mean it's played out but it's still playing out honestly one thing i, I noticed with uh and why i use divergence as a way not only is it a, a great indicator that you know a trend could be reversing but also if you get bearish divergence on your larger time scales what typically tends to happen what i've noticed is especially with like our side bearish divergence you typically don't get a real reversal you really don't reverse your trend until you get oversold on your rsi and so it's just something to take note of the fact that you know if you look at the rsi on the s&p on the weekly i mean right now it's at 46 so you still have a lot a lot more room to go before you get to oversold territory um, oversold territory on the RSI is at anything under at 30 or under 30. Anything over bought territory is over is at 70 or over 70. And so, you know, if you break these March lows, you could be seeing, you know, a lot more downside in the S&P. And um, just looking at the chart on the weekly, our next real support, which is 39.50, if you break 41.95. At this point, I mean, it's still, like I said, the market's not open you're still consolidating but it could just you know knife through it's just something you have to wait and see you know when the market opens this week but that's what i'm seeing on the s p uh, i'm hoping this area access support if it doesn't i really think it's you're going to be seeing that 39 50 
area sometime in the next few weeks. Let's look at some assets that actually are looking bullish and that would be silver and gold. You know, I stated, I think the last time I did analysis on silver, I stated that we did have this um, head and shoulders. You see a pullback before you see more upside. The head and shoulders target like was hit perfectly um, actually here. We just developed what I'm hoping for with the S&P, some downward consolidation. And last week you broke out of it bullishly, which is, you know, a positive thing. The thing you want to see now is you, you know, break these highs. Um, this is on the four hour, but you, you know, you want to break the highs on every time frame. This is at 2651. Um, going to the daily, you can see that silver had its own symmetric triangle that it broke out bullishly. It used it as support. And now you're starting to, you know, mark up and see higher prices. And you did, and this is kind of what you want to see with BTC and Ethereum right now, is it did pivot. It did develop hidden bullish divergence on the daily. And with that hidden bullish divergence, you know, it, it has confirmed you're getting positive, you know, momentum on your MACD. And what you want to see now is, you know, you want to break these highs around 26 on a daily, 26.44. And to get really bullish, you really want to break this trend line at 28.17. You do that, and I believe we will be seeing silver at all-time highs. Um, all-time highs is around um, 49.84. But I believe if we do break this, this resistance, we will be seeing all-time highs in silver. And you can see, you know, on the weekly and on MACD, you have just a lot of positive momentum still building and your RSI. I mean, it looks prime to run to higher prices. It, I mean, silver and gold right now just look like the only, I mean, there's a few assets there, you know, some commodities that are looking incredibly bullish and, you know, but these ones are just looking, you know, really bullish. This is gold on the weekly. I mean, your RSI got to about territory, but you can go a lot higher um, before you see a real uh, pullback or a correction. Um, and it looks like I was thinking I drew this um, simply because what it looks like is you're starting, you're rounding out, like you're rounding out to the upside. And it, that's like showing accumulation um, in this asset, just real positive price action. You test it, your all time high, and you, you know, you sold, but you didn't really like. You didn't wake off and, you know, make lower lows. I was stating um, a couple of videos ago, long as you stayed above, you know, your previous lows, you should be seeing, you know, higher prices. On a daily, you still didn't make this uh, measure move of symmetric triangle either. What I plot it on here is like a range for gold. You can see the rounding action, the accumulation and the price action. And, you know, you, you break the 2062, this range, I believe we're going to be seeing, you know, a lot of higher prices in, in gold. You know, I still have a target for gold. I believe it was what it looks like is a cup and a handle pattern. The target is 3,500. But that's what I'm seeing with gold and silver. They really want a few assets right now that are looking incredibly bullish um, still, despite, you know, the negative price action and a lot of, you know, a lot of assets right now. But looking at the dollar next, um, I pointed this out last video how the dollar odds are you're probably going to see the top of this uh, trend line so i was looking at the monthly time scale but what i've noticed right now actually on the daily on the dollar is we are starting to form potentially bearish divergence on your macd and potentially on your rsi as well it's it could you know easily just keep riding up until you see the top of the trend line so it's just something to take note of this is something i've been you know you would you if you're you know long in um btc or any cryptocurrency or any uh, risk on asset what you would like to see is the dollar do develop yet yeah, develop that bearish versions on the daily and the you know roll over and start to see lower prices and so your risk on assets could start gaining more value i guess the dollar you do have this ascending broadening wedge right now on the dollar and so it's just something that just to take note of if we do have uh if bitcoin somehow does get above 40,600. This is probably the reason um, your your dollar probably would be losing a lot more value at that moment than, you know, the one that's doing it as right now. Right now, it's kind of just closely consolidating. Something you definitely need to take note of. But, you know, that's pretty much all I have for this video. There's not much change in my, in my analysis from the last video. 
there's not much positive um, price action um, with crypto or S&P, but it's just something you have to take note of. And until next time, stay safe out there. Hey.